Hello everyone, let's start with question number 2, exercise 3.4. So in this again we need to find the principal and general solution of equation sec x minus 2. So now in this case, principal solution can be can be uh, obtained here but general solution can't be obtained here because we don't have any solution, general solution for sec x. So therefore it is very easy to convert this into cos x. So we know sec x can be written as 1 over cos x equal to. So the cos x value is using cross multiplication. It will be 1 over 2 equal cos x. So now cos x we know is equal to half. Half is equal to cos 60. So half is replaced by cos 60 degree equal cos x. Now cos and cos gets removed from here. So we are left with x equal 60 degree. Now what we know is let us draw a figure for same. So first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant and fourth quadrant. All school, all school to college. So in this all, all ag angles, all trigonometric functions are positive in the first quadrant and in second it is sine and cosec and for third it is tan and cot. For the fourth one it is cos and sec. So in first quadrant sec is positive and in fourth quadrant cos is positive. So you can you know that in first quadrant all the trigonometric functions are positive so therefore first quadrant and the fourth quadrant because cos is positive only in first and fourth quadrant. So as discussed in last video, theta is the first quadrant. If you need to find the for the second quadrant, it will be 180 minus theta. In the third quadrant, it will be 180 plus theta. For the fourth quadrant, it will be 360 minus theta. So now we need to find for the fourth quadrant. So the fourth quadrant So fourth quadrant will be 360 minus theta. So 360 minus 60 equal 300 degree. So another value for x is 300. The first is 60 degree. So now what we need to do is we need to convert the values into radians. So six, 60 degree can be written as pi 180. So we can cut the values. So it will be pi over 3. The x value is pi over 3. Now the another value will be x equal 300 into pi over 360 degree. So now when we cut the values we get 5 over 6. So 5 pi over 6 is the principal solution for sec x equal to 2. So x equal pi by 3 and 5 pi by 6. Now moving on, moving on to the next. It will be like in this case it is 5 pi by sorry it will be 180 here. So 180 is 3 so 5 pi by 3 sorry for the mistake. So x equals pi by 3 and x equals 5 pi by 3. So now we need to find the general solution. So for that we, we know that we need to assume that we have cos x and cos x equal to cos y. So we know that cos x is given to us as half. So cos y will be cos pi by 3. So cos pi by 3 equals cos y. Now we can cut down y as pi over 3. So the general solution is y equals pi by 3. Now in this case how to write the general solution is in terms of 2n pi, the general solution for cos x is 2n pi plus minus y. So in this case what we can write is x equal 2n pi plus minus pi over 3. And here you can write that n belongs to z. So that's your solution for question number 2. Thank you for watching this.